Whoa! If you see this on the beach, keep your dog as far away as possible. What comes to your mind when you hear somebody describing their weekend activity, which included walking their dog along the beach? I'll bet all you think about is the relaxing sound of crashing waves, the wide expanse of white sand, and a happy pet walking around. A lovely image that doesn't even remotely involve death. In fact, such a walk nowadays is very likely to be fatal for your dog. That almost happened to the beloved pet of a woman who was walking it on the beach along the English coast. She was fast and lucky enough to hold her dog's leash and not let the animal explore a suspicious white lump of something smelly and disgusting. What you will see in this video might shock and repulse you, but also make you think. And you will definitely never again let your dog wander away from you on the beach. So pluck up your courage and let's start. Returning to the woman on the beach in England, it is interesting that, at first, she believed that what she saw was a giant jellyfish. But to her horror, at a closer inspection, it turned out to be a huge lump of fat. It was solid and, frankly speaking, absolutely revolting. <laughs> so, what is this stuff? Although at first sight a romantic can mistake this substance for the sea foam, and a prankster might try to persuade you that you're looking at the poo of a jellyfish. The case is much more serious. These white blobs got the nickname fatbergs. They are clumped together lumps of fat, mostly palm oil, mixed with wipes, sanitary items, and all the waste you can find in a sewer. They are mostly found on the shores of Britain and are called Death from Paradise. Such a name was given to these dog killers as they had arrived from the Caribbean. Having traveled thousands of miles, fatbergs crossed the Atlantic and ended up in Sussex, Cornwall, Dorset, Kent, and other counties. Are fatbergs really so dangerous? Yes, they are, especially for children and dogs. These solid blobs are covered with millions of extremely dangerous germs. Kids don't have enough protection to fight off the effect they might have on a human body. As for dogs, they love the diesel-like smell of the palm oil. Palm oil is indeed oil. It is produced from the fruit of palm trees and is the ingredient in many everyday products, from soap to shampoo. It is harmless for people, but not for dogs, especially in the form of fatbergs. The substance found on the beaches is gelatinous. If swallowed by a dog, it lodges in the esophagus. The animal starts to choke, and an immediate emergency surgery is needed. What's more, let us remind you about the deadly bacteria that may kill a dog, especially young or small. Consider yourself lucky if your dog only develops stomach pains, diarrhea, and vomiting. Another problem is swallowing foreign bodies, because we remember that within the palm oil, diapers, wet wipes, and even used condoms are lodged. Lots of pets died in 2014 when the palm oil lumps were washed ashore for the first time. Well, if I don't have a dog or a small kid, I'm safe, right? Wrong. Fatbergs are not fatal, but very unpleasant for an adult as well. If you come into contact with this terrible boulder-sized substance, immediately wash it off. Use shower gel or soap, and don't forget to wash all your clothes thoroughly. Do you know the favorite time for fatbergs to be born? No? Well, that's a bitter irony, but it's Christmas. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. Remember turkey? People tip hot grease leftover cooking this bird, as well as buttered greens, down the drain. Unfortunately, it blocks the pipes and results into nothing less than floods. If you are as shocked and appalled as we are, hit the like button and keep watching. Fatbergs are just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yes, pun was intended. Wasn't that lovely? We will tell you some more facts that won't leave you indifferent. The first time something, which hadn't gotten his name Fatberg yet, was noticed was in 2013, London, where the discovery was made, had never seen anything like that. A lump of fat mixed with the items that don't decompose in the water like toilet paper was found in the drains. But what shocked sewer managers was the size of the thing, as big as a bus and weighing 17 tons it was a terrifying finding. 
A year later, in September 2014, London witnessed another enormous fatberg. This one was Boeing 747 airplane-sized, and inside it, you would see food, tennis balls, fat, wet wipes, planks of wood, and other waste. Heck, you could build a condo in it! A 394-foot fatberg was found in Welshpool in Wales in July 2015. This situation didn't remain the problem of just one country. Australia and the USA have also been struck by this unexpected hazard. In 2016 in Australia, a fatberg that weighed more than one ton had to be removed by crane. And at the end of September 2017, in the USA, a fatberg hiding under the streets of Baltimore in Maryland was the reason for a serious problem. More than one million gallons spilled from the sewers into Jones Fall. But the most shocking and at the same time most recent discovery was made in September 2017 under Whitechapel in London. The fatberg found there was, you're not going to believe this, 820 feet long. As for its weight, it was a shocking 150 tons. The authorities are afraid that it might take longer than two months to destroy it. It all sounds ominous and scary, doesn't it? But perhaps it's the sign for all of humankind to stop for a while and think about what we are doing with our planet, its oceans and seas. Let's have a look at other unexpected things that the ocean shares with us. You might have seen those famous shots made by the photographer Chris Jordan. They featured dead baby albatrosses. These photographs were made on a group of islands located remotely as far as 2,000 miles away from the closest continent. Why are these pictures so well known? Because of the stomach content of the young birds. Their parents were mistakenly feeding them plastic trash floating all around the Pacific Ocean. Adults took it for fish or other food, and the quantities of it were lethal for their nestlings. Another terrible finding anybody can come across on the beach is dead turtles. These animals got confused, thinking that floating plastic bags are their favorite food, jellyfish. Plastic bags block the digestive tract of these creatures and make them suffocate. Sometimes, turtles feel too full because of the plastic trash and stop eating, which leads to starvation. In 2011, one more dramatic case was noted on Wasaga Beach, Ontario. About 6,000 birds were found dead near the water. The reason for death was botulism poisoning. In fact, first it infected fish, then the birds were affected by the illness. Botulism is a terrible disease caused by toxic botulinum. It is the reason of paralysis which starts in the middle of the body and then spreads to the limbs. As soon as the breathing muscles are reached, that's the end. The situation of 2011 was particularly dramatic. However, the authorities didn't seem too worried. They claimed it was still okay to enjoy a swim and even eat fish caught in the Great Lakes. You just had to make sure it was acting normally and be careful when cleaning it. After cooking fish thoroughly, you could serve it for your Sunday dinner without any fear. Would you risk it? especially considering their warning to observe your dog for any sign of disease if it happened to munch on a random fish found on the beach. Eh, not very reassuring. But not all findings have been so dramatic, sad, or terrifying. In some cases, the ocean presented people with some quite impressive or outright hilarious gifts. What would you feel if, lazing on the shallow water near the shore, you found out that your companion was a yellow rubber duck. How cute and freaky at the same time would that be? Anyway, it's not just an imaginary situation. 28,000 rubber ducks were probably the sweetest thing to be lost by a cargo ship. It happened in 1992, but these yellow bath inhabitants can still be found drifting along the shore near the beaches all over the world. The thing is, these little travelers were left alone in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on a trip from Hong Kong to the USA. It seems they went their separate ways from there, as some could be found in South America, some showed up in Australia, others preferred the beaches of Hawaii. You won't believe, but a couple of them chose the ices of the Arctic. These water pollutants were of great help to scientists. 
oceanographers managed to understand currents better and even estimated the so-called ocean garbage patch, all just tracking the roots of the ducks. And if you are upset that you are not among the lucky ones who got a rubber duckling for free, don't give up. There are about 2,000 more drifting somewhere there in the world's oceans. Have you heard about any unusual or dangerous discoveries on the beaches? What was the most interesting, disgusting, or cute thing you've ever found near the water? Write about it in the comments below. And remember to share this video with your friends. What if their dog or child will come across a fatberg on the beach? By the way, haven't you forgotten anything? What about hitting two buttons? Like to appreciate our work and subscribe to stay with us on the bright side of life and see what is coming your way.